Hello everyone! Today we will be introducing a really efficient way to take notes on the iPad. So today we will be using an app called GoodNotes 5 to make real history notes like this. I'd mainly like to introduce an in-app split screen feature, since GoodNotes 5 has been released as an iPad OS app. Right now, GoodNotes 5 is open up on both the left and right side of my iPad screen. You can use it like this, and in GoodNotes 5, there's a feature called Screenshot. And it's so useful that I don't want to tell anyone. But today, I'll be introducing that and creating world history notes. Students, don't miss out on this tutorial. I hope you learn how to make really cool notes using this tutorial. So we'll be launching the app GoodNotes 5 now. I use this app quite often so I keep it in the dock down here. First, open the app. For today's video, we'll be using the PDF version of a world history textbook I downloaded online. So I would like to refer to that to make our notes today. This textbook has a lot of pictures and they're all in color so I like to use this. You may have a PDF version of the textbook or a resource used at your school. You may also have scanned images of pages from your textbook. In either case, I would like you to load one page of your textbook into your GoodNotes 5 app. Like this, as you swipe sideways, you can flip through the pages of your textbook, but this is a little inefficient. So we'll be adjusting the settings so that we can swipe the pages smoothly for vertically oriented PDF files. First, click on the three dots on your top right corner. Then, click on scroll direction. As you can see, there is a check mark on the column that says horizontal, so click on vertical. As I click on it, you can see that the page layouts have changed a little bit. Now we can swipe on the pages in an easy manner from up to down. I definitely recommend changing the settings when reading vertically oriented textbooks, especially when you're dealing with a lot of material because it's efficient and easy to understand. Next, I would like to introduce the in-app split screen feature. For example, you can use it when you want to open a different textbook or note side by side. When launching the split screen feature, long press and drag the GoodNotes 5 app from your dock to the right side of your iPad. Then you can have the app running on both sides. We'll be making a new note on the right side, so click on the plus button. Then hit note and create a vertical A4 size note. Once you open the note, it looks like this. Right now, two different notes are open up side by side. When using a black note, like the one on the right side, if you drag the note downwards, it will automatically add another blank page. You can simultaneously swipe the pages, so this is a really fun feature that they added. Right now, the world history textbook or the PDF file for world history has a lot of pages, so it's hard to read through them. So we would like to compile the information in our own way to the notes on the right to make it easier to understand. This split view function is handy when you have to summarize your data. So we will be referring to the PDF on the left to make our world history notes on the right. From this point, I will start making my notes so I will fast forward the process. I will introduce another cool feature later. Okay, so I wrote half of my notes so far, but it only has words, so it's difficult to understand, right? So we could add some images and illustration from the PDF to our notes, like a picture collage using a feature called Screenshot in the GoodNotes 5 app. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. We will be using a lasso tool. On the screen, you can see a blue circle in my toolbar, and this is called a lasso tool. Like this, you can outline any image you like to use for your notes. 
so please choose an image and roughly outline it. Once you outline it, long press the image and then a bottom that says take a screenshot should pop up, so click that. Then a pop-up like this should show up on your screen. There is a share button on the top right corner. And once you click that, it gives you some options to save the image, email it as an attachment and more. It's a very handy function. For this tutorial, we'll be clicking on the first option that says copy. Then the image will be copied. Go to the right side and long press anywhere on your notes. The option to paste should show up, and so when you click on paste, the screenshot image will appear on your notes like this, like a collage. Isn't this tool really fascinating? I use this very often. You can change the size, rotate it, and adjust it according to your preferences. If you don't like it, for example, this brown border on the image, and want to cut that part out, you can long press on the image and the edit option should pop up. If you click on edit, you can trim the size and make the image cleaner. By adjusting and tidying up the image, you can make really nice notes. You can take a screenshot and paste more images as shown in the video. If you like to color your images, I suggest using the highlighter function because you can color it really nicely. Right now, I'm using an orange highlighter to color this map. A cool thing about this feature is that as I'm coloring a section of the map, you only fill in the blank area and will clean up any color that has bled outside of the dark border. It's a little hard to explain this, but if you fill in the map using regular ballpoint pen, the color will be placed on top of each other. But if you use a highlighter, you won't. So I suggest you use a highlighter when you want to add some color to your notes. I'm gradually finishing up my notes. Since it's a world history, there are a lot of historical figures that appear in the chapters. Many names appear in katakana, so I've had a difficult experience trying to understand and memorize their names. In that case, you can cut out their picture using the screenshot function and try to memorize their names through their pictures. When I was in high school, there was a time where I didn't go to school at all, and I was actually on the verge of getting expelled. Back then, I remember I had to take the world history exam for the university entrance exam. Good news is that I did pass the exam, and I studied a lot of world history to prepare for the exam. I remember I struggled to memorize historical figures' names, and I think I'll be able to memorize their names more efficiently if I had an iPad and was able to copy and paste pictures like this freely. I think it will be advantageous for high schoolers and college students to utilize digital note-taking apps like this to study for the exams. Lastly, when you're finishing up on your notes, use the selection tool to make some final adjustments so that it looks polished. You can use this tool to adjust the location of pictures, enlarge or shrink text, adjust the location of the text, and change the color of the text. When changing the color of the text, select and long press the text you'd like to change, and there should be an option called color. Using that function, you can change your text color to orange, red, blue, and more. This selection tool is so useful and versatile. I'll be adding final touches using this tool to my notes. Okay, so this is a final look. I personally think that I made pretty nice notes. I know that high school students will be studying for university entrance exams, so I hope they try this out and study for the exams. 
I feel like I've been so much smarter if I had an iPad back in the day when I was a student. So, anyway, I hope you try out studying paperless or digital. The notes and the PDF files for the textbook will be posted in the iPad Make community, so you can download and refer to these notes if you need to review the functions discussed today. So, that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Come back for more videos. Bye bye.